Welcome back, friends. If you have been following along the last couple of weeks, I have been uploading videos about our curriculum choices for the next school year. So I've gotten out a video for my fifth grader and my third grader. So now it's time to talk about my first grader. If you are new here though, my name is Sarah and I have four kids, ages nine, seven, five, and three. And my channel is all about homeschooling and life as a family of six. So if that interests you, I'd love to have you join us here every week. You can go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Super appreciate it. So if you have been following along for a while, you probably have noticed a trend that I tend to change up our curriculum choices every year, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I just end up looking around at other people's videos and what they've reviewed and what they've tried and loved and end up thinking, well, we've got to try that. That looks awesome. So here I am changing up things again. I do have another video from when I had to pick out first grade curriculum for my daughter, my second child. Uh, so if you want to see those other choices, I'll leave a link to our curriculum playlist in the description box below so you can check that out next. For my son, we have been doing Hooked on Phonics since he was four probably. They have like a pre-reader section where they're just learning what the letters sound like and what the letter names are. And then this year, since he's entered kindergarten, we've been doing the reader section, which is where you're actually learning how to read. And we love the Hooked on Phonics app. I've used it for all of my kids so far. And I don't know if you used Hooked on Phonics as a kid. Uh, I did, of course, they didn't have an app back then. It was just books and workbooks. But my, my mom loved it back then. And so it's neat to bring it to my kids now. Uh, but now they have an app <laughs> and it is really fun. So they've got 24 units in the reader section of the app. And my son is on unit, I think 16. So a little more than halfway through. So he will continue to do that um, into the first grade year. Like we're gonna keep doing it through the summer too, probably like two lessons a week and just to keep him fresh and continue learning, continue that momentum. And if you've never seen the Hooked on Phonics app, I do have a video where I review it more in depth and actually walk you through a full lesson on the app so you can see what the games look like and the little video and the storybooks that they have so you can really see what it looks like. Um, so I'll put um, a link in the cards here and in the description box below if you wanna check that out next. Um, if you have a preschooler, a kindergartner, or even a little bit older child who's just struggling to read, it's a great program because it seems like fun. It's a fun thing for them do, to do. So it really takes the pain out of learning to read, I feel like, for the most part. So definitely go and check that one out. So since he'll be doing that into first grade, we'll kind of be bouncing back and forth for a little bit with Hooked on Phonics and the curriculum that I've bought for his like language arts and reading for the year, which is The Good and the Beautiful. Um, if you have heard of them before, uh, they have a lot of different curriculum, a lot of different subjects that they cover, uh, but we have gotten Language Arts and Literature Level 1. It covers, let me open it up and read to you. It covers phonics and reading, grammar, literature, spelling, writing, and even some art appreciation. So that's the beautiful part. <laughs> Um, but it's chunked up into lessons, one lesson a day, and it's kind of set up on like a, you would do like three to four lessons a week to, to conquer the whole book in a, in a typical 37 week school year. And what I love the most is it's, it's already set up for you. So there's no planning that you have to do. You can literally open the book right there in front of your kid and be ready to rock because, okay, I know this is a little bit hard to see, but They've got what you read to yourself, like instructions to the parent in blue words, and then in black is what you're gonna read to your child. And so you go through the lesson, and then at the end of each lesson, the child has some independent practice. Uh, so let's see, let me go to another page to show you a little bit better. Okay, so here's, 
here's a little bit easier to see example of the worksheet that they would be doing and it's right in the book this is all bound and kept together you're not having a bunch of loose paper all over the schoolroom and so once you're done teaching them the lesson you'll hand them the book and they will fill out the answers right here in the book so i really love that organization and then what also comes with this book is the reader book and this is a collection of short stories for them to read okay so that's nice this is already put together it's not telling you to go to the library and get different books every week appreciative of that and then lastly it comes with phonics cards so these are perforated sheets um, they feel like they're laminated really really good quality and so you'll tear these out and then go through these like flashcards. And so in the beginning of the year, you know, it's easy, it's one letter, and then you move on to two letter blends, and then they've got um, words and sight words, and then it moves on to even more trickier blends, you know, four letter blends like that. So they have it set up where they tell you in the book when to do these. It's not just like, oh, here's something you can do if you want, and then you never get around to it. Um, they instruct you in each lesson and tell you when to go through these cards. So I appreciate that. It just takes the planning off of my plate, which I really feel like I need these days. And then from The Good and the Beautiful, we are doing their handwriting. So I got the level one workbook show you an example in there, um, which I know is really hard to see. <laughs> um, but you can go to their website and actually look at PDFs of their courses and so you can get a better idea of what is included before you buy, which I think is really awesome. So this is great. Also, they're just working right in this workbook and it's all bound together. Okay, and then for math, let's talk about math. We have actually been very consistent with our math curriculum for all my kids so far. We've been using Math UC. And if you've seen any of my other curriculum videos, you know that I love Math UC. I feel like it makes it really easy on you as the parent. I don't know about you, but I never really wanted to be a teacher before this homeschooling thing. And I feel fairly confident in my own math skills, but I felt very nervous about having to explain the concepts to my kids and worried that I would do it in a confusing way and then they would be terrible at math. Uh, <laughs> that may be silly, but I mean, seriously, even at the first grade level, I was like, I just want to make sure that I am saying the right words so that they're not confused. So enter math, you see. It comes with a video, ah, it comes with videos. So it's like a three to five minute video for each unit. And it's really pretty easy to understand. The teacher is great. He uses manipulatives. I'll show you those. You can also buy those as part of your set from Matthew C. And that's what they recommend you do. Um, so you've got different blocks. So you can be very hands-on with these. And so they instruct you in the workbook when to work with the blocks. Um, and so if you have a kinesthetic hands-on learner, it's fantastic. And even if your child doesn't seem like they necessarily need that part, it really helps to see the amount that their number is worth. So they watch a video and then they do a worksheet and the workbook includes seven worksheets per unit. We typically end up doing like three in most units. Um, if they seem like they need a lot more practice, we'll use up more of the worksheets. Um, sometimes we'll slow down and do like flashcards one day to work on their math facts. Um, but other than that, we're typically doing three worksheets a week, you know, three days we're doing math and that has worked out really well. And I just love math, you see. So there will be a link down below to their website. Highly recommend. Another big perk about Math UC is that if you buy the DVD for the lessons or do the lifetime streaming online, that means you have access to those videos for your subsequent children. So if you have multiple kids, it's really a great way to save money. All you have to buy each year is the workbook. So it's pretty budget friendly curriculum. And then 
for science. I am having my first grader join up with my third grader. They're going to be doing the same science. It's introductory science from Science Shepherd. And the way that Science Shepherd lays it out is you can watch the same videos together, but they have different level workbooks. So they have um, a higher level that's made for grades three through five, and then they have a lower level workbook that's made for grades one through three. So I'm getting her the higher book and my first grader the lower level book, but they can still watch it together. And then she can even help him on his worksheets, which is really great. So I'm excited about this. Science Shepherd is a video-based curriculum and it comes from a biblical perspective, which was really important to us. And my son has already done one course through them and is starting on another one and has eaten it up, loves it, has learned a ton. So that's why I decided to go ahead and put my other two into that curriculum as well. And then lastly is Bible. We are using Veritas Press for Bible. We actually started that this year. They have this online video-based curriculum. It's like an interactive type of lesson on the computer. And so they're like answering questions and watching little videos. Uh, it's been really good. I've just kind of slacked on us doing it. Um, my husband normally does like devotion with them during breakfast in the morning. So when school takes a long time, <laughs> that's normally one of the things that I'm like, well, we already did Bible this morning. We'll just not do that now. So anyways, I am committed to doing better with that this year. I am excited about this curriculum. The course that we are doing is Genesis to Joshua, and I'll leave a link below to that curriculum as well. So far, so good. We have enjoyed it. Okay, well that sums up all the curriculum that we are using for my son's first grade school year next year, 2022 to 2023 school year. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love to know if you've used any of these curriculums before. Um, let me know in the comments below what your experience has been with them. And I hope that you have an amazing summer and are feeling a little more confident, you know, getting your curriculum all gathered and set up for this upcoming school year. So till next time, happy schooling.